seems like we've got ourselves a video I haven't done in a very long time. It's time for an unboxing video. Like I said, I haven't done one of these in a very long time, so this is gonna be a little bit different. What I'm gonna do instead of showing you the camera over the box, I'm just gonna show you the items out of the box. So consider it an unboxing video, right? I've been teasing what exactly this has been for quite a number of weeks now. I've been doing a lot of research and doing some things here and there on the side to make sure this happened and... <laughs> this makes me feel BROKEN! Don't worry, it's not that kind of video. We got bubble wrap. We got- Oh look, they gave me a packing slip just in case anything was wrong. How courteous. I'm gonna take out the main event so that way you guys are in the loop now. It is time. Your boy is gonna be ready to use his arms. <laughs> Nintendo Switch is here and is back again once again in my hands now this is a bundle so I've, obviously this is the red and blue bundle so naturally this is my first game with the package i got mario kart 8 deluxe so for those that have a nintendo switch if you guys have a game please hit me up i will have my Nintendo ID or whatever it is now that they call it displayed here and look it also came with the steering wheels So that way I can play the two-player mode with one little joy-con and use a steering wheel to make it feel a little bit more legit And I got myself the joy-con charging dock. So this is also a part of the switch bundle well, That is everything that came out of that box and now I'm sure you guys want to actually see what is in this box so Let's get Right into it. <laughs> Alright, so I got my blue and red Joy-Cons right here. Come in a nice little packaging. So this is nice. They, they're just going to fall right out. So I'm going to just put these to the side over here. And this right here. This, guys, is the console. This screen. Yes, that's it. This is the Switch in its entirety. Obviously, the dock is going to be included below this. However, this, guys, is the freaking console. Let's put this safely to the side. And here, it comes with a nice stock HDMI cable. We can always use these. It comes with a USB-C end chart for the power, of course. I believe this is a charger. These two pieces right here, they go on the opposite end of the Joy-Cons. If you were to take one out and use it for its own controller, you have, this allows you the shoulder buttons that aren't actually on the thing, you know, because obviously when you're in Switch handheld mode, you have your triggers, but when you're in your Joy-Con, I'm gonna try to play Street Fighter with this John mode, then you're gonna have to put the triggers on. So this is what this is for. All right, and here is the stock Nintendo Switch official rip. I'll just actually take the, my Joy-Cons out right now just so that I can show this in its actual entirety. All right, so here it is. Now, I've tested this myself prior to buying this. I've played around with it, and this isn't too bad. However, if you got big hands like myself, this can be a little bit of a problem. I mean, look how close my fingers are. But if you guys have smaller hands, you guys, those younger guys out there, or just people that just have smaller hands, this should be okay. Now, there are other grips out there that actually come out a little bit wider, and I would actually recommend those. Those are actually really nice. I have my eye on a red one, so I'm gonna most likely be getting that John pretty soon. And last but not least, outside of your everyday support John stuff, this is the dock, which you can also buy separately. So if you're a traveler like myself that goes to a lot of events or you just travel a lot, it doesn't matter what the hell you do. If you wanted to buy a separate dock so that you can leave it at whatever destination, an example for me would be if I bought an extra dock and left it at Papa Uchi's house, then I could do that and just bring the switch with me. So here is where everything goes. So if you see here, it actually labels it for you. So this is the AC adapter where it goes right there. The USB goes in here and HDMI out goes right in here. So this is pretty nice dock. And then obviously it keeps all the cables kind of condensed in there and that junk. And then of course the switch will just go right in here. Let's actually show that off real quick. 
Okay, so here is the switch with the Joy-Cons on. I just wanted to show that real quick while I was taking the Johns off. Okay, simple as that. Right into the little groove. I am noticing it is a little loose. So obviously this isn't, you're not supposed to walk around with this. So it's not meant for that. This is a dock for a reason. It stays put and that's it. The only purpose of this is if you're playing at home. And once you're playing at home, it does have two USB ports right there. So we don't know exactly what they're gonna be used for yet. Hopefully it'll support things like, I don't know, arcade sticks or even Wi-Fi adapters. So that way you can plug in like a USB LAN adapter and have a direct connection for online play. That's just my educated guess knowing how Nintendo operates that's basically everything guys so that is your unboxing this is the game obviously and then i'll put a wheel on why not as an added bonus oh i just nutted myself hey kids <laughs> here it is these are made by yoke so, I mean, honestly, I don't really see the, the necessity with these if you are playing Mario Kart. I mean, everyone has their preference, but it does give you the trigger buttons right here in the back. And another thing you got to look out for if you are going to be playing like this, look how close your thumbs are going to be. All right, I'm just, I'm just warning you now. If you're going to be mashing or hitting buttons or doing stuff, your thumb is going to... All right, it's gonna do that. All right, so I'm just letting y'all know before you start screaming at me. And a couple more bonus things. I did manage to get myself the pro controller because I had to. I I I had. There was no way I was not gonna get this junk, especially if I'm gonna play the games like I don't know Street Fighter, freaking Ultra 2, freaking 50th remake edition and then i did get it's a temporary case i did get a case because uh, there's no way i was going to carry around this thing that's 300 dollars and not have any kind of temporary protection this is pretty self-explanatory the, the freaking pictures on the back it literally only has enough room for the switch itself the joy cons and then some games and it comes with a little cloth to wipe it down here's the controller Okay, cool. So it does come with its own charging cable, which I believe to be USB-C. So that's nice to know. And then here is the Pro Controller. Now this, I'm not gonna lie, guys. The Pro Controller, even though it is pricey at $70, this John is worth, okay? It feels so comfortable. And let me tell you how comfortable it feels. You remember the Xbox 360 controller? That's how comfortable this John is. The buttons are nice, the sticks feel nice, even the triggers, they're silent. I mean, okay, they make noise, but they're silent. Ooh, it has a nice little weight to it. It's not like too heavy, it's not too light. It's just right. <laughs> there you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoyed my Switch unboxing video. I hope I covered everything that you guys wanted to see as far as what came out of the box, immediately out of the box within my bundle. And I know the bundles are constantly changing. I don't know exactly if this bundle is even set in stone anymore. It might be, it might not be. It might have some things added. It might have some things excluded. But this one in particular, it does come with the wheels. It comes with Mario Kart 8. And it comes with the Switch in itself, the red and blue. The neon bundle is what they called it. They mentioned this, but this is this this comes with the, the system. So don't let them fool you. It's not an added bonus or anything else like that. But let me know what you guys think about everything that you saw here. If you have any questions, please feel free. Ask me in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe, hit me up on Twitter. Let me know what you guys think about the Nintendo Switch. And here is my ID again for those that want to play me in Mario Kart and Street Fighter. I will be hoping they release a Switch stick because I'm not a fan of playing fighting games like Street Fighter that are classic 2D plain Jones with a regular controller. So with that being said, I hope that they do port over Pokemon. I don't use a, a stick for that, but I'm just saying, I'm just saying. And I'll see y'all next time.